Good morning. It is March 8th. Out here in no man's land at 8.57 a.m. Getting ready to start the day here. Their morning checks of everything, 74% on this bunker silo here. 29% there, it just changed. Our chickens, still good on food. 104 pieces there, these will, these will be the same. These guys will be a bit less there, yeah, 26. <clears throat> We're gonna check the sheep. We still need to, still need to put food in their thing. We gotta pick f the food up from, or the grass from where we cut down earlier uh, yesterday. We got 26 liters of wool there. So wool will ramp up as they age. Uh, the older they get, the more wool they end up producing. So our honey pallet just about finished. 400 liters is the max for the honey pallet. And that was at 310. 385 tomatoes. And 125 of strawberries. So, let's see. One thing I want to do is I want to go pick up the mulch, the, the mulcher, the vineyard mulcher from the shop. and see if we can actually mulch the vineyard now, or if we're gonna have to wait. So I'm gonna head to the shop and I'll grab the mulcher and bring it back and we'll start start the video back up, or start the day, <laughs> video day, whichever, um, breaking the immersion. Um, as soon as I get to the vineyard and we'll see if it works. I'll see you back here in a moment. Okay, we're back. And we're gonna test this to see if it works yet. Uh, for we're gonna have to wait. I don't think it will. It's kinda spitting up stuff like it is going to. It looks like it looks like it is gonna work. Maybe. Uh, maybe not. It seems to be working on something, but I don't think it's working on the actual vineyard itself. I think it's working on the grass kind of next to the, the row here. I think that's what it's working on. See the only real way to find out is when we go down the center between these two next to me here. So we'll see here in a minute. Because I think, yeah, I think what it's doing is kind of mulching the grass right next to the orchard rather than mulching the or or not the orchard. I mean, yeah, it's under orchard, but it's a vineyard. Um, yeah, it's not doing anything. Okay, so we don't mulch yet. I guess that kind of makes sense because this the, the kind of overgrowth between the rows isn't really all that big, so <clears throat> I'm just going to put this away and wait on that. Uh, but we do have grass that we can collect right now to feed to the sheep. So we can go ahead and just put this away and then we can pull out the wind rower. Wind row up the grass and collect it up for the sheep and then whatever excess we can throw into the bunker silo. So I have some other stuff we're gonna try and accomplish in the next couple of days, uh, one of which is Kind of getting rid of the trees that are in the meadows here. Um, we might we might actually cut down a few more trees, get some more cash together, 
see about possibly setting up something else we can use or setting up something else that we can have our attention on while we wait for April uh, not really sure what we can do with what we have now still comes in the problem of the whole time management thing and what can be done in the meantime we wait for things to grow or you know everything else to progress along uh, we do have our bunker silos that are fermenting right now we gotta wait on that obviously so we can sell that stuff uh, we have the pallets going but they're not generating know all that fast so we gotta wait on that as well before we can really do anything with that and honestly just kind of want to wait until the end of the month to sell any of the goods anyway <clears throat> so that way we have a good nice chunk of money coming in all at once we can load up the pallets now if the pallets kind of start getting out of hand we can just load those up and sell as needed strawberries in particular since those are producing at an alarming rate okay I'll just go ahead and park this back um, we're probably gonna need it in the not so distant future so just go ahead and put that there for now I forgot this is still a pretty small tractor so it kinda launches around a lot or wobbles quite a bit I'm trying to pull big things All right, let's collect up this grass get it over to the sheep I think this should top off the uh, the sheep barn with enough food for a while if I remember right this is kind of a lot bigger than Yeah, it's a, a lot bigger than the uh, the awning there, so we'll have to empty it out like this. Okay, so sheep barn is topped off. 4,500 grass. 4,500 liters of grass. All right. So the rest, of it, uh, the rest of this we can just go ahead and dump in here. Alright, and I think what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and just grab this trailer and we're going to go out to all the small trees out in the meadow, chop them all down throw them on the trailer. I'm just going to be clearing them out. Because we want to have this portion of land over here just prepared, nice and ready for the eventual expansion of that field.
trying to think of what else needs to be done while we wait for April. Because I can imagine there's a few things. We do have a lot of grass that we can be that we could be cutting. Um, again, there's the, there's these trees that we can remove and make some money that way. Maybe to pay off a bit of the loan, or even set up a solar panel or two. I believe this one's just a little too far out. Uh, I think these ones are too. Oh no, this one's fine. These ones are too far out though, they have to be. Yeah. Yeah. few more hours to go. Head over to these ones. Chop these down. We'll see if we have enough time to run these to the shop and sell them. Alright. Seems to be pretty windy right now. I think it's only like three miles an hour though. Three units. Yeah. Looks like it's gonna rain tomorrow. Don't know when that's supposed to happen. Wonder what we could get done in the rain. I would assume a lot still because we we're not harvesting anything, so the rain won't affect anything that we will be doing. Uh, even even cutting grass isn't affected by the rain. It's not that I've ever seen. Usually they'll have a warning message saying, "Oh, you're getting less because you know you're harvesting in the rain" or something like that. And I don't think I've seen that message for mowing grass. It's not like the snow where it actually semi-prevents you from doing it. Alright, so it looks like what time is it? So just about 3 o'clock, or 15, eh, 1500. Um, so we definitely have enough time to go and sell uh, the trees that we cut down. So I'm going to head to the shop and I'll bring you back as soon as we figure out what kind of price we're going to get for this. It would be great <clears throat> would be to kind of reinvest this money either into some solar panels for a bit of passive income because we're going to have a lot more uh, sunny days ahead. Ooh, maybe not. Look at all those rainy days coming in. We might hold off on solar panels until uh, the beginning of summer. Uh, when is that? When is summer considered on this? Cool. Look out for those trees. So summer begins in June. June, July, August. It is summertime. Not where I'm from, it ain't. <laughs> Summer here starts around April. Alright, so I'm going to head back and we'll see what we can start getting done here with what time we got left. Uh, probably just go out and 
grind those stumps down. Get rid of those. Just so we don't forget. Don't forget about it later. So I'll see you at the first stump. Okay. Here we go. This is a stump that I forgot. Right next to the beehive. Got a few, just a few stumps to get rid of. Uh, probably won't be able to finish all of them off today. Because part of the work that's going to be happening is uh, <laughs> probably cutting down all this grass. Quite a bit of grass. That's gotta go. Uh, I may I may leave kind of like a small patch for the sheep. Cause looking at the grass right here, eight they already ate eight liters since I started, so, and that's going to increase, um, as they age, as the month, you know, the months go by, they'll, they'll end up eating a bit more grass as they get older, alright, that's another one, Looks like it's about that time. You can already hear the dinner bell, so I'm gonna go ahead and head back, and we'll do our evening walkthroughs. To check to see how all of our different things are progressing along. All right, let's just go ahead and park this right here. Since we're going to need it in the morning anyway. And I'm going to grab the, uh, the other tractor really quick before we start our walkthroughs. Just so as not to forget it. Tractor is this again? Oh, a Landini. I thought I saw Lamborghini. I was like, oh, really? I mean, I know Lamborghini did a tractor at one point, but I didn't think it was one of these. Alright, let's park this on up. Okay, now let's do our evening walkthroughs. 75%. Thirty percent. So we got two percent over the course of the day. Looks like they, the chickens, went through two liters of food here. One o four pieces. That's what it said back there. Looks like they only ate one liter of food. Same with these chickens. All right. Check the sheep. I, I'm not like thinking that wool's gonna. Oh no, it went up. Thirty-one liters. It looks like they ate ate a bit more food again. I think it was only two liters of food though, which that's kind of weird. I would have thought that each time it would have been the same amount. Another eight. Three hundred twenty-three liters of honey. Should probably have another 
or probably have a honey pallet by tomorrow. Uh, 405 liters of tomatoes and 164 liters of strawberries. So things are looking pretty good. A little, you know, slow, slow and steady production of goods to be able to be sold. But for now, that's going to do it. I'm going to get some dinner, bathe, and hit the rack. Thanks for joining me, everybody, and hopefully we'll see you tomorrow. Until then, have a great night, everyone.